Because I think it's kind of a, a big question mark for a lot of people using LinkedIn is what do I do in there? How do I stand out? What's the purpose? How do I get attention? And I think the biggest thing you have to understand with LinkedIn status updates is a couple of things. One is you are front and center. You are very visual. As soon as people log in, they're going to see their status updates. A lot of people, if they use the LinkedIn mobile apps, might have notifications enabled that they might have certain updates from you, from their connections, popping up on their phone. Now, the whole thing with status updates or status, as you say, I like your accent, by the way. <laughs> That's great. I'll just be the boorish American, okay? You be the cool and calm Australian. Sound good, Liam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Let's go for it. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so, I'm not sure where uh, I'm that, that calm and collected, but it's, it's really early here in the morning here. That's probably why I'm still kind of passive. It's because I'm, I'm still maybe half asleep. That's all right. I'll have you laughing out loud by the end, I promise. All right. So the thing about it is I really want to focus on a couple of things, you know, really understanding the number one mistake I see being made with status updates is people just putting in kind of sales pitches or, you know, kind of come do this, visit my site, do this, do that. And instead, I want to really show people a status update area is actually a place to be really personable. It's best for personal branding and attention. And so I'm going to take, can I take over the screen now and show people some examples of what I'm talking about? Yeah, let's, let's go for it. All right, let's get loose on the screen share factor. All right, so we should be able to see. Liam, let me know if you're seeing this. Are you seeing this all right now? I can, yep. All right, good. So what you can see, I'm in my news feed here on the desktop, and you can see as I scroll through, right, there's just an avalanche, a river, a torrent of updates to be, to be going through. Now, let's think about this for a second. When I look at my updates, and you can go under profile your updates, let's look at my stream. And you can see some things here. I've got kind of the typical update, which is, hey, here's a post. You know, you can look and see how small the photo is, but let's go down a little bit. I'm going to show you some other ones. Look at how that one jumps out, right, with a big photo. And that's a very easy one to replicate. And so one of the first tips I want to give our audience is how to get a status update. You, this is a great comparison side by side, right? When you're scrolling through, Liam, flying through, what catches your attention? This big image, right? Not along, Liam. Tell me I'm right, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like uh, <laughs> it certainly jumps out at you for sure because it, it breaks the, the kind of mold that uh, everything else was before it. Yeah, perfect. And so here's how you do that. So let's say I have, I want to just post uh, this update. So let's say I'll just go and do that again. So I'll go into home and it's what you do is there's kind of a little secret sauce behind this. What you want to do is put in your text and you can put in your link to your page. So let's just say I want to send it to a landing page on my site. Okay. So let's say uh, let's say I want to get people to sign up for a webinar, which is common for small business owners, entrepreneurs, right? Okay, let's say I want to link them to this page. So what I do is I go back over to, over to my uh, tab here. Hopefully it's going to work. There we go. And I paste in my URL. And now normally what LinkedIn does by default is it's going to pull up this smaller size thumbnail photo and website summary. And I don't want that. What I want to do is have that big image pop for people. So I X this out right there. And I click this little photo icon and then I can upload a photo, a custom photo, whatever I want to use that's really going to catch people's attention. So let's say, um, you know, I can have one with blocks or something like that. Let's say I want to use that one, right? And I'll say free training, how to generate. And what it does is now it's uploading. You can see the photo and the update. And when I share that, you can see how much larger that is. Look at that thing right? That just pops out to you in the newsfeed as you're scrolling. Da, 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 da. Whoa, what's this, right? It stops people long enough. It's like almost this way, Liam. I think of it like having a stop sign or a flashing red light in the, in the stream here. Like, wait, what's this? Attention. And then that stops them long enough to read your text. And then you can still have that link, right? That goes over to your landing page or your blog or whatever it might be. So that's one of my favorite ways to really stand out in the newsfeed. Now, I want to show you something even better. Does that sound good? Just, yeah, just quickly on that. Um, yeah. Now, with the image itself, uh, if you, there's no way to actually put the link behind the image. So people um, aren't able to necessarily click on the image to go through to your website. They can, yeah. So, like, if I click on the image right here, it just blows up the update, and you can still see the link right here, and it'll still take them over. So cool. either way, even if they're just like, oh, I want to click on the image. So like for the one where I had the free training, 
I'll go back and show you that one. Um, if they would have clicked the button that said free training, let me get here. So if they go to this and go, yeah, I want this free case study and they click the image, then they just see over here uh, where the list is details, right? And so I always put in something like go here, click here, read more. Um, but that's a great way to get people's attention, right? Cool. All right. So yeah, let yeah, me yeah. show you. I'm so going to take it one step further. Go for us. I love it. All right, good. Well, I'm going to show you the only thing better than, <clears throat> than a still photo, of course, is going to be a full-size action photo. So let me do this. Let me get over. I've got to close a few tabs here. Let me do that. Okay, there we go. I use Buffer. Are you familiar with that app at all? Yeah, I am. Yep. Okay, so Buffer for social media posts. If, if our audience is not familiar, Buffer is very similar to Hootsuite or some of the other apps or online services. You can schedule tweets and posts and things like that. Yeah, this likable is, media as well is, is, is another yeah. one. Is, uh, yeah, um, sponsoring the, the summit. So they're, Well, they're, I'm sorry, likable. Yeah. Hopefully they have this functionality. Everyone get likable. Oh, do not get buffer. <laughs> this is an announcement. All right, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you can do this on likable too. I just haven't used it. Um, but I know for me and buffer this works. And so when I go over, you can see here I've got my LinkedIn page pulled up. I've got my account connected. I'm gonna, I want to post this on my LinkedIn newsfeed. And so what I've said is, hey, here's a great tool that helps you increase engagement with your prospects on LinkedIn. And then I've got my link right there, got my text. Again, Buffer by default is saying, okay, we'll post this smaller size you know, imagery on LinkedIn. I don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do is close that and I'm gonna add a photo or video. And this, you have to do this through Buffer, but you can add a, a GIF, which is, if you're not familiar with, the, with what those are, they are moving images, right? The animated kind of funny. Here's a great one. Remember Saturday Night Live, Chris Farley? Did he make it to Australia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love this image. It's great. Okay. So I've got lots of them, right? So you, you have all these different ones. I've got Ferris Bueller from a classic 80s movie saying, shh, you know, here's the secret, right? There's a great website called uh, Giphy.com, and I'll pull that up in a second. But basically, I've downloaded and saved some different images. And what I do is I just upload that GIF, and you can see it's here on Buffer now. And what I'm going to do is just share it right now on LinkedIn. And when I go back over to LinkedIn in a second, it's gonna be there in my newsfeed moving. So let me show you that here. It might take a minute to pop up as it goes through, but once it does, let's go over to my updates and we'll see if it's in there yet. There he is. Look at him dancing, baby, right? Look at this. This is what's so cool is you can see the difference now, again, as you're scrolling through the newsfeed, here's this guy dancing. What, what is this, right? Like, so again, and it has the link to the landing page, the blog post, whatever it is that I want to use. But again, it's a moving image. And this right. also will work on the LinkedIn mobile apps. Uh, the difference is if you're viewing this on your phone or something, the image will be still and then you have to tap it and then it'll start dancing. But on the LinkedIn desktop experience, it's seamless. It immediately plays. And so where I got that image, these are all free. Whoops, let me go to uh, giphy.com. And you can see they've got millions and millions of free ones. So I could say, you know, 1980s, right? And say, I want to do uh, a 1980s cartoon or I want to say, you know, maybe The Office is a popular TV show and I want to see, you know, have a funny joke about life in the office or a funny expression, right? So what you can do is just download these, you know, nailed it. You know, how did your presentation go today? Nailed it. You know what I mean? Like you could download that. So watch how fast this is right? Uh, nailed it. I'm going to put that on my desktop and then we're going to share this in real time on LinkedIn. Watch this. So we'll go over to Buffer again. And this is an example of how fast you can do this. So, so uh, just to be clear, um, yeah. the GIFs, the moving images, you can't post from a status update on LinkedIn. You have to go. Correct. Uh, yes. Okay. So if you have to do it through a third party app like Buffer. That's the secret is you can't, if you upload it directly on LinkedIn, it'll be still, it won't do anything. It'll just sit there doing an interview with the amazing Liam Austin about LinkedIn right now. How's it going? Here's how, right? And then I'll put in that image and let's see, where is he? Nailed it. And then I'll share this on LinkedIn. And again, this is personal branding.